is an opportunity to look in the mirror and assess what you see. The Los Angeles Lakers win the first NBA Cup. They are champions. But it may not be easy. Maybe we just suck right now. The Lakers fall to under 500. True hurts. Yeah, I know. I'm in my own lane. How to get it, shooting my shot from three of the close range. I've let it fit. Halfway never reflects the whole picture. Luca goes out. Kyrie Irving and Tim Hardaway Jr. really picked up the load. We want to keep the chance. Please don't try. You gon' get exposed. Mavericks and Lakers. They gon' call us legendary when the stars start. It's an NBA Wednesday, and it's presented by Wingstop here in Los Angeles. It's the Lakers and the Mavericks. Both teams have hit the halfway point in the schedule. Each have played 41 games so far. They've played each other twice as we get set for their third meeting of the season. And right now, let's get things started and send it to Cassidy Hubbard. I spoke with LeBron James pregame and asked him his assessment of where this team is at at essentially the halfway mark. And he told me, we're just trying to climb back out of that run. He said injuries have derailed them a bit. That's not an excuse, but they have to figure it out. Darvin Ham says he knows nobody's feeling sorry for the Lakers, and they don't want them to. He said they pride themselves on figuring things out. They have one less win at this point last season as they do this year, and of course, win from the play-in tournament to the Western Conference Finals. And Ham said, we're in it for the fight, and we're not going to stop swinging. And this is the perfect time for them to get some good punches in, as they are in the midst of a five-game homestand where they are 14-7 and seven before they embark on their season-long Grammys road trip. Mike? All right, Cassidy, yes, they certainly have punched better here in Ohio Marina in the only road game in the coming stretch. They can put a lot of points up on the board. Starting lineups tonight delivered by Taco Bell. Interesting for Dallas, the Dodgers returns. Tim Hardaway stays in the starting lineup. Normally, he's their sixth man, but he's been starting recently when Dodgers was out. Derek Jones, Derek Lively rounded out. And, of course, Russell and Reeves are now back in the starting lineup together. As Darvick Lively is going to be called for the foul. That'll be his first. We'll take our first time out midway through the first. Let's take a look at tonight's Money Moment brought to you by Chime. 21 seasons in, LeBron James has seen a lot, including Darvin Ham going from an opponent on the court to his head coach. In fact, he's played against eight active head coaches, some front office members, and countless assistants, including Jared Dudley and Damari Carroll. Jason Kidd is also part of that club. Of course, Kidd was 38 years old when he beat LeBron in the Heat in the 2011 Finals. And even though Kidd played past his 40th birthday, he... will take a timeout. 39 years and 18 days old. And LeBron James has played against 35% of the players in the history of the league. He's torched about every single one of them. Mr. Hardy, how about it? And that goes off the mark. Well, the Lakers have been one of the worst first quarter teams in the NBA this season. Do a solid job. They shoot 56% and have a six point lead. Back up by five. Some words for the rookie. Yeah, they are all kilter right now, but I tell you what, a bad pass and a turnover against the Los Angeles Lakers allows LeBron James and the train to go downhill. Forward, and I had the ability to stop, gather, and take a shot. That, that's just amazing athletic control. I'm telling you, now, most bigs, they're going down here. Watch, that's usually a runover. Grant, he gets a foul, a charge on that. That's amazing. All right, Cassidy. The Mavericks just 3 of 16 from 3. Lakers just 4 of 16 from 3. 
And a two-point game. Luka Doncic, 20 points, nine rebounds, and six assists in the first half. Played 20 of the 24 minutes. And Anthony Davis, 16 points, eight boards, five assists. Lakers by two. Christian Wood, quite the social young man. I couldn't. Let's look at our first half stats. Brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Some similar shooting numbers, including four shooting from three. Both had six turnovers as well. Hence, we have a two-point game as we get set for the third quarter here in Los Angeles. Hi again, everyone, with Doc Rivers and Doris Burke. Alice is missing threes that they normally make. They were one for seven on open. One thing about threes, if you miss them, sometimes the way the ball comes off, you get to run with it. Especially if you got LeBron James as the guy coming down with it. The vision, the touch, the ability to put it from that spot to AD in a dead sprint. LeBron James on a pass. NBA Friday doubleheader, Nuggets and Celtics in Boston. That's 7.30 Eastern. The Mavericks will continue their road trip. San Francisco against the Warriors. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 7 Eastern. How did he stay in bounds? Twenty-three assists for the Lakers. And a comfortable margin right now in the third. Four minutes to go. Well, back to back three is trying to stay attached. <laughs> LeBron loving the pass. He's got to acknowledge it. It's that good. Luca doing his thing. Field. But Grant Williams answers with a little moment of glory for Dallas. That's been tough from three-point range, just six of 28. We head to the fourth quarter. Lakers up 17 as this presentation of NBA Wednesday presented by Wingstop continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Old Lakers play uh, with number 32, Magic Johnson. And this is a play that you would see him throwing the ball to Byron Scott for a dunk right there. Bring it on here on the fourth. All right, Cassidy, there are the numbers from the James family tonight, both in action. As the Lakers get the victory, Southern Cal still playing right now on ESPN against Arizona. Well, NBA Friday doubleheader coming up. Nuggets and Celtics will be in Boston. That's at 7.30 Eastern. And the Mavericks, they continue their road trip. They'll be in San Francisco against the Warriors. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 7 Eastern. So back-to-back -back impressive victories for the Lakers. The type of game makes you think, yes, they could be a huge factor. Can they keep it going? They certainly did in the second half tonight against Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. So the final score, 127 to 110. For our producer Tim Corrigan, director Mike Schwab, our outstanding ABC crew. Of course, for Doris Stock and Cassidy, Mike Green saying, coming up next, most of these ABC stations will have your late local news. Good night from L.A. Thanks for watching ABC, home of the NBA Finals.